Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna go through a really good problem that involves applying the chain rule several times and trig functions. Let's start by noticing that we have a function one plus tangent of sine of x all raised to a power. So we're gonna apply the chain rule the first time in the special case that I call the general power rule. This is for differentiating a function raised to a power. Now, most of our work will be calculating the derivative of the inner function here, g of x. So let's start with that. The inner function here, g of x, is one plus tangent of sine of x. So make sure you realize here, this is a composite. We're not multiplying tangent by sine of x. So again here, there's no multiplication. That is a composite. So we're gonna differentiate a composite function by using the chain rule. We're gonna calculate g prime. And if we differentiate term by term, the derivative of the constant one is zero. And if we apply the chain rule here, the derivative of the outer function, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So we get secant squared of our inner function. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inner function here. The derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. And that's most of the work on applying the second part or second application of the chain rule. Now we're just going to put this all together with the general power rule. So we're going to start applying the general power rule. We're going to bring the three down, the power. We keep the inside the same, one plus tangent of sine of x. Subtract one from that power. And now we multiply by the derivative of the inner function here, which we just calculated. We multiply by secant squared of sine of x times cosine of x. And that is it. Now again, this was a really good problem because it applied the chain rule in several places and trig functions. When you go through math professor training, you learn how to make any calculus problem harder, include trig functions. But with these shortcuts, they're not a problem for you. So make sure you know your special cases or shortcuts for the chain rule, the general exponential rule and what we used here, the general power rule. Hope you enjoyed this problem on finding this derivative. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.